joining us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below because you don't want to miss out on any of the Southern Yankee DIY projects, room renovations, or budget savvy home decor. Today we've got something extra special planned for y'all. We teamed up with a bunch of our other super talented YouTube friends to bring y'all some spring DIY home decor projects. We've got three fun, easy projects for y'all. They are farmhouse themed, of course, and I think you're gonna love them. So after you check out ours, go ahead and check out my friends below. I'll go ahead and link them and tell them that we sent you. Now let's get crafting. Our first spring decor project is going to be a farmhouse set of books. I use this set of books that I got from the dollar store. Um, every time I go, I just pick up a few because I love to make these book sets. They're super cute and they make great gifts. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off the covers and I just throw those out. I don't ever use them. And I just paint directly right onto the book. I am using uh, Sherwin-Williams pure white paint, but any craft paint will do just fine. I usually do about one to two coats on each book depending on how much the um, wording peeks through. After your books are dry, it's time to add your vinyl. For this project, you could also use a set of stamps to do your wording, but I just haven't found a set that I love yet. So I'm going to use my Cricut machine and I just printed out some vinyl and a cute little spring saying. vinyl weeded, it was time to go ahead and place my wording on each book. I just start at the end um, and then put the last letter right on the edge of the book and then just make sure you're in the middle of the stem. Once all three books have the lettering on them, it's time to go ahead and tie them. You can use ribbon or in my stereo, I use twine. Make sure that whatever you're using to tie the books together is tied nice and tight. You can get kind of creative with how you tie them. I did a little bit of a pattern here and I think it's going to turn out super cute. After I got my books tied together, I decided that I would add this these lavender stems to my books just to give them a little extra something special. You could use any stems really that you wanted to to add to your book set. I chose these uh, lavender stems because I just thought they were pretty for spring. Normally when I'm cutting stems I like to use wire cutters. That's a little trick. But if they're downstairs and I'm feeling a little lazy I'll go ahead and just fight them with my craft scissors.
Once your twine is nice and tight, go ahead and just start placing in your greenery and just setting it up however you like it. It's your book, so do what makes you happy. That's it, one spring project done. Let's move on to our next one. This next one is a super, super simple sign trick. I love to make signs and these are actually my favorite because they're so simple. I just use scrap two by fours and I paint them with spray paint. This time I used um, Rust-Oleum uh, Ballerina Pink and I also used their Primer White. And I just went ahead and spray painted um, my scrap two by fours and let them dry. I give them about two coats a piece. If your 2x4s do have rough edges, I do recommend sanding them down a little bit. You don't want to get any splinters. After I let my 2x4 sit overnight, it was time to add my vinyl. I um, just printed them off some vinyl with my Cricut machine and you could also use stencils for this. You could uh, handwrite if your handwriting looks a little bit better than mine. That might be a great option. Anything that you want to use. These are so simple. All I did was chose this little Hello Spring saying and the best part is, is I could even keep the Hello block and just keep changing out a lower block with the different seasons. If you are using vinyl for your wording, the nice thing about the wood is that you can place it and pick it up again. If you don't like how um, your lettering is sitting, there's a little bit of play there. That's it, our second spring project is complete, the easiest signs ever. Now we'll move on to our third and final spring project. I'm going to be making some napkin rings. I do these um, for Christmas, for fall, I just absolutely love them. I use Dollar Tree shower curtain rings, the plastic ones, and some twine. And I just go ahead and hot glue around the ring and wrap the twine really, really tight. The key to wrapping the twine is to make sure that every once in a while you go ahead and push the string back a little bit because you want them on top of each other nice and tight because you don't want to see any of the plastic shower curtain ring peeking through. Once you get back to the top of the shower curtain ring with your twine, go ahead and cut a little extra off because you're going to use that to wrap your floral. Take your floral stem and apply a little hot glue inside that crease where the shower curtain um, connects together. Then you're going to take that extra slack of that string and wrap it nice and tight around that ring just to give it some extra hold and security. Don't be afraid to apply a little extra hot glue. You want it to have a nice hold. You don't want the floral falling off anytime soon. After it's nice and tight and everything's in place, I go ahead and take my scissors and just trim around the ring just to cut off those little baby hairs from the twine. And that's it, our third spring project is complete. I hope y'all love them as much as I do. I absolutely love all these projects. They've got that little hint of farmhouse touch and they were super easy to make. Don't forget to check out all of my friends' projects. I'll go ahead and link them below and tell them that we sent you. I hope y'all have a very, very happy spring and a wonderful day.